Still confused between curve of P and curve of Wilson? Let's fix that in under 90 seconds. The curve of P runs from the tip of mandibular canine along the buccal cusps of premolars and molars, curving upwards towards the ramus, terminating near the condyle. While the curve of Wilson is formed by the buccolingual inclination of posterior teeth, it extends from the buccal cusp of posterior teeth on one side to the opposite side, curving downwards in the mandibular arch. Curve of P is the anterior posterior occlusal curve as seen from the side or sagittal view. And curve of Wilson is medial lateral as seen from the front. In complete dentures, the curve of P helps to maintain balance during protrusion and lateral excursions and compensates for Christensen's phenomena. Curve of Wilson maintains bilateral contact across the arch during lateral movements and prevents tipping of the denture. For teeth arrangement, the curve of P guides the vertical positioning of the mandibular posterior teeth and the mandibular molars, especially the second molars, are set slightly elevated posteriorly to follow this anterior posterior arc. The curve of Wilson influences the buccolingual tilt of posterior teeth, especially the lingual inclination of mandibular molars. Maxillary molars are tilted buccally to maintain opposing cusp contact. So when do you modify these curves? The steepness of the curve of P is adjusted depending on the amount of vertical ridge resorption, especially in the premolar and molar regions. In flat ridges, this curve may need to be flattened to reduce leverage on the denture. And we may need to steepen the curve of Wilson when the mandible is wide and maxilla is narrow to maintain denture stability during chewing. Both the curves are important for bilateral balanced occlusion. Neglecting them causes denture instability, discomfort, and ridge trauma. Hope that helps. Want to learn about these occlusal curves in depth? Click the link below and subscribe to Dentistified if you are serious about prostate.